Welcome to ABC Interactive English. Hello, everyone. I'm Karen, and I'm Mike. And today we are going to be taking a three-day look at wildlife tourism.、Mm. That's right. That doesn't mean you're taking a tiger on holiday with you to Hong Kong. It means you're going somewhere. Probably not Hong Kong to see wildlife. So you're going、wow. to an amazing part of the world where they have incredible animals for you to see in the wild, not in a zoo. Wow, that sounds really, really fun. Have you had any kind of experience with this kind of tourism? I have done a little bit, not too much. Usually, I like big cities、uh -huh. and. Shopping or going to museums, but occasionally wildlife tourism can be so cool to see those animals、mm. from Nat Geo or the Animal Planet Channel in real life. And I went to a place here in Taiwan. Wait, in Taiwan? Yes, indeed. In fact, not far from Ilan, a little town called Suau. I went there.、Uh -huh. I got on a boat early in the morning. We went out into the water, and guess what we saw? Did you、right、see dolphins? We saw dolphins. That is so cool. Not just one, many of them, and they were jumping. They were playing. They were all around the boat. It was so so cool. One of the best、wow. six hours of my life. Wait a second, but is it really? Expensive though? No, no, it really wasn't much. I went with a big group, so we all paid together. It was absolutely wonderful. I'm so glad I even have the pictures today. Really? I can still go and look at them and remember that amazing wildlife tourism experience. I cannot believe that I don't know about it, and it's right here in Taiwan. A couple of hours by car, not far at all. Okay, you have to tell me how to get there. I will do that right after we read our article: wildlife tourism, traveling for the animals. Travel is a part of most people's lives. Some visit big cities with lots of culture. Others visit warm places with beautiful beaches. Still others visit places for the animals. So we're looking at part one of wildlife tourism. Traveling for the animals, and we are looking at wildlife tourism, and it is different from going to the zoo because we all know that going to the zoo, a lot of animals are being kept in cages,、mm -hmm. right?、Mm -hmm. But whereas wildlife tourism, they actually take you out and you can observe and interact with some of the animals up close and personal, right? Exactly right. Now this would probably be places. Where they have special facilities—that means special programs and buildings to help tourists. But you can spend some time with elephants in Thailand, or you can go on a safari in Africa. That kind of thing, and a lot of good whale watching,、mm -hmm. dolphin watching places all around the world. And it's really popular, and it's becoming more popular, which is great. Generally, for the animals, we'll find out more about it. But it says travel is a part of most people's lives. Absolutely, we travel all the time. If we're going to school or work in the morning, that is a kind of travel. But also, more of us would think of taking holidays and vacations. That is a kind of travel. Now, travel. Can be a verb or a noun. When you travel, you are going from one place to another. You can travel by foot from your house to the local Seven Eleven, or you can travel by bicycle, airplane, car, train, whatever. And when we're talking about traveling, that's when we might use it as a noun.、Mm -hmm. Someone might work in the travel business.、That's、Maybe、right. they work for an airline or a bus company. Something that's about moving people or things from one place to another. That's right, and I really do love traveling、mm -hmm. for fun, go on vacations, and I think a lot of people do as well.
So let's go back to the article. Some visit big cities with lots of culture, where you know, like Mike likes、mm, to do that, right? That's what I usually. Do. <laughs> Others visit warm places with beautiful beaches. Oh, that's me. Okay, so we'll <laughs> find you on a beach in Bali or something like that, or Thailand,、oh, yeah. or in the Philippines. Why not? Or maybe in Taiwan. Or even Okinawa. <laughs> oh, that's right. Still, others visit places for the animals, for people who love animals, animal lovers. They want to go find places where they can go and interact and observe these cute, adorable animals. There you go, or big, scary, and dangerous animals. But you、You're、want、right. to see the animals where they live, not in a zoo, not in a museum, but out there in the wild, the Amazon. Oh. Africa, the Himalayas, ooh, lots of cool places like that. We'll take a break, and we'll find out more all about this when we come back. Those people enjoy wildlife tourism. They go to places where people keep the animals, like zoos, aquariums, and rescue centers. The animals there are still wild for the most part. Sometimes those places offer special animal experiences. Guests get to see the animals up close. They may also get to pet, feed, or hold the animals. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, we're getting into our topic of wildlife tourism. But before we will go into our topic,、mm-hmm. we were talking about how many people like to travel.、Mm. Some people like to go to the big cities, like Mike. Some people like to go to the beaches, like myself. And some people like to go to places for. Animals, That's right? Right to see animals where they live in the wild. Now we actually have a special name for that kind of travel or that kind of holiday. Those people enjoy wildlife. Tourism. So that's what we're talking about there. Wildlife tourism, going to places to see wild animals. As it says, they go to places where people keep the animals, like zoos, aquariums, and rescue centers. So of course, some animals you can't see them in the wild. It's not safe. Or maybe they're just hard to find in the wild, so you can go to a zoo. That's where we usually find land animals. The Taipei Zoo is where you see bears and elephants,、right. things like that. Aquariums is like a zoo, but it's for fish, for animals that live under the water. I think in Pingdong, right? They、mm. have a big aquarium, and also rescue centers. I'm not sure there are many rescue centers in Taiwan. This is where animals that are in Trouble in the wild because they're they're being hunted or they have nowhere to live. Animals like elephants in Thailand, tigers, pandas in China.、Mm-hmm. Of course, these animals will be taken care of in rescue centers. The animals there are still wild. For the most part, so they might live in a place. They might get food from people, but these are not trained animals. They're not doing tricks like in a circus or anything like that. They're just living in places. Where people can take extra good care of them. Exactly, and I think it's important to look after their well-being.、Mm-hmm. Now we're looking at this word zoo, and that is a noun. A lot of people love going to the zoo because it's very convenient. It's a really easy place to get to if you want to see different types of animals. However, though, I think some people might think it's a little bit sad for the animals to be kept. In cages because they can't really—they're not free to do whatever they want to do, right? Exactly right. Zoos also do take care of the animals and they do some good science and research. But you're right; it would be nice if all the animals could be out in the wild. But if they were, it wouldn't give us and kids and lots、mm. of people a chance to see them. And this is especially true for animals in aquariums、mm-hmm. because an aquarium. As I said, is like a zoo, but for animals that live in the water. Of course, here we're mostly talking about fish, 
things like that. But it could also be seals or otters,、That's、dolphins,、right. whales, whales, those other types of animals that live in or around the water. I love aquariums. They're、Me、so、too. beautiful and peaceful. So they're a great place to visit. That's right. But if you also want to see the ocean animals, you could also go snorkeling as、true. well, right? That's true. But I don't know if I'd want to see a shark <laughs> in his home country, in his home. Area. That's true.、Oh, that's a little bit adventurous. Yeah, it's to, it's keep the shark in the aquarium for me, please.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> and next, we're looking at the rescue center.、Mm. And Mike has explained that the rescue center are for animals who are injured、mm. or maybe they're hurt,、mm. they're ill, and then these animals are being brought to the rescue center. They are being saved. So rescue meaning save. So these people who work. At the rescue center, they take good care of these animals who are ill and also sick, and then they make them all better. That's exactly right. Kind of a zoo with a hospital kind of mixed together. And when we talk about wild, like wild animals, these are animals that are not used to living with people. Generally, with animals, we Put them in two groups: wild animals and domestic animals. Domestic animals would be pets like cats and dogs, or animals that we might live with and work with on farms: chickens, pigs, cows. You don't usually see chickens in a zoo,、mm -hmm. right? Because they're not wild animals. Wild animals are the ones that are wild. They live out there in nature. Exactly. So sometimes those places offer special animal experiences. So we're talking about the wildlife tourism here, and guests. Get to see the animals up close. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Because we know that when we go to the zoo,、mm -hmm. sometimes we are a bit far、mm. away,、right. and then you don't really get to interact, and you don't really get to, you know, watch them up close and personal,、mm -hmm. right? Exactly. So this is a really cool experience. They may also get to pet, feed, or hold the animal. That's pretty nice. I know. I would love to do that. I would definitely love to. I've seen pictures of people holding koalas. I know. In Australia, that's probably at a rescue center like that. Not only will you get to touch them and hold them, you might also be allowed to feed the animals. To feed something, generally it would be an animal, but we sometimes feed people. You are giving food. To that person, to that animal. Of course, mothers will feed their babies. Sometimes, when people are sick or in the hospital or old, they can't feed themselves. So, if you take a spoon and give it to someone else to eat, then you are feeding them. And it could also just be opening a can of cat food and putting it in a bowl and going, "Hey, dinner time!" You're feeding your cat, your bird, your fish, your dog. You are giving it food. So it can eat.、Mm, wow! It sounds like a lot of fun, though. This wildlife tourism experience. What an ex what a chance to get up close to animals you would normally only see in a zoo or on TV or in the wild. Pretty cool. But we'll have so much more cool stuff in tomorrow's article. So please go off and feed yourselves, and then get back here soon. We'll see you then. See you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Travel is a part of most people's lives. Some visit big cities with lots of culture. Others visit warm places with beautiful beaches. Still others visit places for the animals. Those people enjoy wildlife tourism. They go to places where people keep the animals, like zoos, aquariums, and rescue centers. The animals there are still wild for the most part. Sometimes those places offer special animal experiences. Guests get to see the animals up close. They may also get to pet, feed, or hold the animals. Hi, I'm Tina. 我们来看这一课的重点单词。第一个 ，travel。travel 名词，旅游、旅行。traveling 是它的动名词用法。
Exploring different cultures through travel is a wonderful experience. 透过旅行探索不同的文化是一种美妙的体验。Explore 指的是探索。下一个单词 zoo zoo 名词动物园。I often go to the zoo with my brother. 我经常跟我哥去动物园。下一个单词 wild wild 形容词野生的。它也可以当名词，野外、荒地。我们先来看看 wild 当形容词的例句。There are many wild horses in this area. 这一区有许多野马。我们再来看看当名词时的例句。Harry likes to go camping in the wild. Harry 喜欢在野外露营。最后一个单词 feed feed 动词喂食，它的三态是 feed fed。Fed. What do you feed your cat? 你喂你的猫吃什么？接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，places where 加主词加动词，什么的地方，这是一个关系副词的用法。Places 是先行词 ，where 是关系副词，它所引导的子句用来修饰先行词。我们来看看这个例句。New York City is one of those places where dreams can come true. 纽约是梦想能成真的地方之一。下一个文法 ，for the most part， 在多数情况下，这是一个副词片语，一同于 most of the time。我们来看看这个例句。For the most part， Justin enjoys his job。在多数情况下 ，Justin 享受他的工作。最后一个文法。Up close, 近距离的，靠近的，也可以说 close up. 我们来看看这个例句。I had the chance to see the beautiful painting up close. 也可以说 I had the chance to see the beautiful painting close up. 我有机会近距离看那幅美丽的画作。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. Hi, everybody. Let's play Guess the Bear. I'm Carolyn, and I'm Josh. I'm Toy. All right, are you both ready to play? Yeah, I'm fired up. Okay, great. Let's do it. The first one is a noun, and it's one word. We were all nervous to receive our test bears. His success is the bear of years of hard work. Result. Yes. All right. Let's hear the sentences. We were all nervous to receive our test results. His success is the result. Of years of hard work. <laughs> All right. Second one is a preposition, and it's one word.、Ooh. Yeah, right. It's、okay. preposition. Everyone did their homework. Bear Cindy. Mary loves all subjects. Bear history. But. Although. Instead. The is. I'll read the sentences one more time.、Yes. Everyone did their homework. Bear Cindy. Mary loves all subjects. Bear history. Except.、Oh. Yes, that's correct.、Oh. Let's... <laughs>、oh. Everyone did their homework except Cindy. Mary loves all subjects except history. See, I was dancing around it. All right,、yeah. one and one. Okay, and the last one is a phrase. It's two words. It's nice to bear bear with old friends. She bared bear on work after returning from vacation. Catch up. Yes,、Whoa. and past tense caught up. Okay, it's nice to catch up with old friends. She caught up on work after returning from vacation. All right, so you are the winner for this、Thank、one, right? So、yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you felt one in there too. It's a new feeling. Well, I'm just.